Hi everyone, welcome back to a new recipe video with Mr. Organic. Today I'm sharing my spaghetti and aubergine meatballs with the new Mr. Organic no added sugar, olives and capers pasta sauce. For this, first drizzle two tablespoons of Mr. Organic's extra virgin cold pressed rapeseed oil into a shallow pan. Turn the heat up to medium, then finely dice a red onion. White onion would also work for this, whichever you have available. Add the chopped onion to the pan. Then next mince two cloves of garlic. Add the garlic to the pan, then sweat the onion and the garlic off in the oil for a couple of minutes until soft. Next, add in one teaspoon of paprika, a teaspoon of dried mixed herbs or any dried herb in your cupboard, and an optional pinch of dried chili flakes. Turn the spices through the onion and the garlic until they become well coated. And next, add in one tablespoon of tomato puree. Again, fry it off in the pan, turning it through continuously to coat everything for a couple of minutes. Top and tail an aubergine, then chop it into small cubes. This is a great recipe if you have an aubergine in your fridge which needs using up like the one I had here. Add the cubed aubergine to the pan, Season well with a good pinch of sea salt. This will also help draw out extra moisture from the aubergine and also some cracked black pepper. Mix it through everything well and then cook the aubergine down for around 10 minutes until it begins to soften. Then move the pan off the heat and leave the aubergine mixture to cool. Take two pieces of stale leftover bread, any bread will work for this, and place them in a food processor to blend into breadcrumbs. This again is a great way to make use of the end pieces of bread which never get used but you don't want to go to waste. And so you should end up with around a half a cup of breadcrumbs when measured out. Add the cooled cooked aubergine mixture to the food processor with the breadcrumbs. Take a jar of Mr. Organic's organic Italian sun-dried tomatoes and grilled peppers and add two tomatoes as well as two peppers into the food processor, making sure you drain off the oil well first. Both of these are great for so many things and again, this is a great way to make use of them if you already have some in your fridge. Add in a small bunch of chopped fresh parsley if you have it, as well as a teaspoon of balsamic vinegar. Blend the mix up until smooth and all is well combined. Halfway through, just run your spatula around the bowl to make sure everything is mixed in properly. The result should look like this and the mixture should be able to stick together well. If it's too wet or doesn't stick, add in some more breadcrumbs. Take around a tablespoon of the mixture at a time and roll it in a small ball between the palms of your hands. This can make anywhere between 12 to 15 meatballs depending on how big or little you want to make them. Place the meatballs in a dish or on a plate then put them in the fridge to chill for one hour. Once the meatballs have had an hour to chill, heat the same shallow pan to a medium high heat brushed with a little oil in the base. Add in the meatballs and keep turning them until they begin to brown all over. Give the pan a good shuffle every now and then to make sure they're all evenly cooked. Next, take a jar of the Mr. Organic no added sugar, olives and capers pasta sauce. The no added sugar roasted garlic sauce would also work great for this. These are both so delicious and as the name suggests, they contain no added sugar and use only natural sweetness from Mr. Organic's own sun ripened tomatoes, which are also organically grown. They're great to have on hand in the cupboard for quick, easy and tasty pasta dishes. Move the meatballs to the outside of the pan, then pour the contents of one jar into the center of the pan. Rinse the jar with a couple of tablespoons of water, Place the lid back on and give it a swirl around, then pour it into the pan. Allow the pasta sauce to completely heat through before moving the meatballs into the sauce. If you cook the meatballs in the sauce, they can soak up a lot of the moisture and then lose their firmness. Once the meatballs are well coated, turn the heat down to low. Fill a separate large pan with boiling water and a good pinch of salt. Then take a packet of Mr. Organic's Italian Organic Spaghetti 
and measure it out according to how many portions you'd like to make. Place the spaghetti in the pan of boiling water and allow it to cook for around eight minutes until al dente. Once cooked, drain the spaghetti off, leaving it a little of the pasta water in the bottom of the pan. Take a couple of spoonfuls of the olives and capers pasta sauce and add it into the pan with the drained spaghetti, then turn it through well to get the spaghetti well coated. It's then ready to plate up. Start by plating up the spaghetti first and then add on the aubergine meatballs. Garnish with some finely grated dairy-free vegan cheese and some fresh parsley or basil. Otherwise, from the cupboard, some dried chili flakes or toasted pine nuts would work great too. These meatballs are such a great texture and are packed full of fresh flavors, especially with the Mr. Organic sun-dried tomatoes and grilled peppers. Those work so nicely with the flavorsome pasta sauce, which in itself is rich and chunky with pieces of green and black olives and whole capers. It's almost 80% sun ripened tomatoes and is flavoured with oregano and chilli. If there are any leftover meatballs, these can be if there are any leftover meatballs, these can be refrigerated and used the next day by baking them in the oven. Overall, this dish is a great way to make use of fresh produce such as the aubergine as well as a few cupboard ingredients such as the Mr Organic no added sugar olives and capers pasta sauce.